addressing journalists at the headquarters in Mengo. The Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Samuel Stephen Kazimba Mugal, says dialogue is the most important tool to absorb the conflict. It is the conviction of the Interreligious Council of Uganda that dialogue is the most effective way of engaging in our divergent beliefs, opinions, and aspirations. We call upon our brothers and sisters to embrace the spirit of dialogue for the sake of peace, tranquility, and national unity. In 2016, the Interreligious Council of Uganda had organized a national dialogue which has since suffered post monuments due to a number of factors. The communique, a joint communique, was written and signed by His Excellency on that, uh, uh, that day. Of course, we got it much later. But then, by the time we finished all that, we were going into election. So, everybody was saying, first of all, the money is not there. But uh, also the dialogue and the election will be confused. People will be confused when, while we are carrying out the national dialogue across the country, while we are going through into elections, it will not be there. Deputy moved Sheikh Muhammad Ali Waiswa is worried such acts heighten Islamophobia. It is widely known that the composition of the force has different peoples who are even not Muslims. It is quite unfortunate that in many circumstances that even some choose to use the Muslim names whereas in the actual sense they were not Muslims. And that has been proved throughout the history of this movement. Simon Chris Makanga, CTV, PM Edition.